to my channel so today we're going to be doing like a little tiktok viral hacks that i've seen that's like food based if you want to see me do more of these after this video please remember to like comment subscribe but i just decided to do like i think it's about four of them so far and one of them the first one we're going to do is the ramen noodles so i saw this girl do a tiktok video on how to make your ramen noodles taste like chicken alfredo she used parmesan cheese heavy whipping cream and some butter so that's what we're going to do today and give it a try and hopefully it tastes like that if not i'll be talking about it so we got a pack of ramen noodles she used the chicken flavor which i already eat those in the first place so it wasn't um a hard decision i don't know if like if you use a different flavor that will make it taste different like not like chicken alfredo or not because she uses the season packet as well but so what we're gonna do is take the big block of framing and dump it into the boiling water we're gonna let it boil for about mm, four minutes and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna finish it up okay so now the noodles are in a good consistency not too soft or chewy and so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna drain it you could use a strainer, but I'm a little lazy and this typically goes a little bit faster to me because I don't waste time looking for a strainer and I just rather do this and use a fork. It can be a little risky because sometimes the fork will miss. <laughs> I'm not going to add all the seasoning because I usually don't exactly um, like it a lot because it's too salty to me. So we're just going to mix that up real quick. This looks like I ain't mixing. Okay, now it's like a real cheesy consistency, and we're just gonna put it in a bowl and let's see how this tastes. It doesn't really taste like a chicken alfredo to me, more like a chicken seasoning. It's like cheesy and then the chicken seasoning. Would I try it again? Yes, but without the chicken seasoning. So on to the next thing. For this next hack is where you use a butter knife or any type of knife. You get a lighter and what you do is you light the, um, the knife to where it gets hot enough. You get a Ziploc bag and let's say if you wanted to make your Ziploc bag a lot smaller, you don't want to use a super big one and just waste an unnecessary space. What she does is she cuts the Ziploc bag with the hot knife and the knife being so hot, it makes the plastic stick together. So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to light the lighter, see if it gets hot enough. but it didn't separate. Is it hot? I don't know exactly. Am I doing something wrong? Because it cut after multiple times, but it also did not seal it at all. <laughs> I think we're going to give it one more try. Okay. All right, next thing. <laughs> okay, for this next um, hack, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some grits and a lime and we're gonna squeeze it on it. But the person who did this hack, they cut them in half and said that you can do it frozen, which I was like, hmm, let me try it frozen because I like my grits frozen for the most of part. Uh, and squeeze a lime over it and it's supposed to taste like Sour Patch Kids. I don't know how well that's gonna be true, but we're gonna give it a try and see. You can see that they're very not proportionate, but we're gonna make it work. <laughs> okay, let's squeeze some on there. <laughs> There's nothing squeezing out. Oh my gosh. It doesn't taste exactly like a Sour Patch Kid, but it's a lot better than a regular. It's quite tasty. When you first put it in your mouth, the lime juice does kind of have a Sour Patch taste, but then with the mixture of the grape and stuff like that, it doesn't exactly taste like that anymore, but it's still really good. 
y'all so we're at mcdonald's and i'm trying this new life hack that i saw it's like making your own milk tea and what you need to do is you get a sweet tea and an ice cream cone you get the top of the ice cream cone and dump it inside your drink and then you mix it all up together and it's like you have your own milk tea so i'm excited because they don't really have milk tea down here at all and when i was in seattle there's plenty of places that has it and so i'm really excited to try it and let's see if it actually works and i will come back with the results when we get cone and i got the tea as you can see you're supposed to drink it halfway well it's a little less than halfway but i'm not gonna drink it all like that so what you do is i really want this ice cream cone but i'm gonna do it what you do is just take half of, take this whole top and put it in there just like that look at it okay now it's time to mix it was thick too i need a spoon for this i should have asked for a spoon <laughs> this ain't looking as uh <laughs> it's a tiktok five hours later there's still little bits of pieces of ice cream that I haven't fully mixed up, but we're going to go ahead and try it. It still tastes like regular tea, but like a little smoother. This does not taste like milk tea like I thought it was. I'm a little disappointed, but it's okay. <laughs> like I can't even taste the ice cream in it. If you guys really enjoyed this video, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time. <laughs> okay, this is actually really good. You're recording the whole shebang, huh? No. Let me taste. Oh gosh. Ma. I'm gonna be so mad because I really want an ice cream cone. Ready? Oh, I forgot to add the chicken season. Huh? So we also. <laughs> Woo! Okay. Let's try it again. <laughs> Oh, you can stop it. <laughs> you the cameraman like that? Yeah, I doubt. 